hungry. Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Girl Guts. Today we're continuing on the theme on the theme from the last one, which was for kind of spring, lighter dishes, and we're making a Japanese dish, and you could use it as a starter. It's ponzo marinated tomatoes with a nori tsukodani and an amazing kind of dressing for it. But we'll get to the dressing later. But it's a honey and vinegar, basically. But before we have a look at the board, please do me a huge favor. If you're not subscribing to the channel yet, hit that subscribe button and check the bell icon. Like that, you get a notification every Tuesday when a new episode comes out. But now, let's have a look at the board. So as you can see, there's not that many ingredients here, and it's because I prepped some in advance. These ponzo marinated tomatoes should ideally marinate for three days. So let's have a look at how I did them first. We have some beautiful tomatoes. It doesn't really matter what kind of tomatoes, as long as they taste good. Um, and we have ponzo sauce, and that's basically what we need. Now, we need to peel these, so I have boiling water on the stove. We're just going to prep these quickly so we can blanch them and then peel them. So what we'll do is we'll just cut up, cut out the stem and give a cut here in the base as well. Easiest is just a cross. So do that to all of your tomatoes. I'm going to serve two per person. So this is for three people. You can also do it with cherry tomatoes, whatever you feel like. I'll see you in a bit. Our tomatoes are ready. Our water is boiling. Here we have some cold water to put it in afterwards. Ideally ice water, but I don't have enough ice. So we're going to put these in. It will take about 30, 40 seconds maximum. And then we'll put them in there. Have this to fish them out with. And since we don't have ice, we're going to use cold water to cool them down even further. And now you want to tr look for a crack in the skin. You don't want it too short because then they're going to be difficult to peel. But you also don't want it too long because then the tomato will cook. I think we're good to go. And obviously, I had too much water in this. And now we put them on the cool running water to really cool down. And leave them there for a minute or two. So I'll see you once I cleaned up the mess and we're ready to peel the tomatoes. Now the easiest is to actually peel them under running water. But I'll do it here because I don't have a camera under or over the sink. And that's what we want. So peel all your tomatoes. I will do it in the sink. We have peeled our tomatoes. We have a bag. And now it's up to you how you want to do this. But I would like to cut these. And what I love with this is the kind of red sun or star underneath. And we'll cut each tomato into eight pieces. And you just put them in your bag. It's really simple, it's not really cooking. I'll see you once you cut all of your tomatoes. So we have a bag of tomatoes. We have our ponzu. Now we just put our ponzu in there. And this is ready. Now it needs about three days. So that's why you saw me in a different clothes before and after. Put them in the fridge, and you're good to go. Again, really not rocket science. You just need to plan a bit in, uh, ahead. Um, our um, honey balsamic vinegar dressing, I'll show you how I did that. Now, this is incredibly simple, but very good. Um, it's not really a vinaigrette, it's not really a dressing, it's not really a sauce, something in between. And it's honey and uh, white balsamic vinegar. And all you need to remember is it's two to one. So I'm going to make four 
teaspoons of honey. And then obviously two teaspoons of balsamic vinegar. And I just mix this. So you get the homogeneous liquid. And give this a little try. Beautiful. Sweet and sour at its best. And that's it. Again, dead easy, but you see the color? It's liquid gold. And for our nori tsukodani, it's kind of the rest here. Um, the chervil and the olive oil is just to finish off the dish. But for the nori tsukodani, you need nori leaves. I have 10 leaves here. We have about 450 milliliters of dashi, homemade dashi. We have 50 milliliters of cooking sake, 50 milliliters of soy sauce, and we have two tablespoons of mirin, and that's what we need. We're, you're gonna also need a mixer. But let's start making the nori tsukodani. So we can go ahead and mix all the liquids. Soy sauce, cooking sake, and our mirin. And this we put on the stove. Put it on, bring it to a boil. I'll actually move over there and show you. Um, in the meantime, you can just rip these up a bit or cut them in half, cut them in quarters, um, and we'll put them in once it's come to a boil. But I'll see you over there. So as you can see, our liquids have come to a boil. And I've cut up the nori. We can just actually put it in like this. Turn down the heat a bit, it doesn't need to boil very hard. Make sure that it doesn't boil over. You could also have taken a bigger pot. And all we're doing is we're kind of dissolving the nori leaves into the liquid. We do this by stirring. We can also use a mixer at the end. I've actually turned off the stove now. Because this doesn't need to cook for long. It just needs to be very warm and we need to kind of get rid of the alcohol in the mirin and the sake. I think most of our nori is already dissolved. So we can actually go in there with a the mixer. And the boiling is just from the rest heat. As I said, I turned the stove off. The, I turned the stove off, I turned the oven off. The stove off. we go. Now let's move over to the front again. So this is our Sukodani. And this is, I don't know of anything that packs this much umami taste. Um, and also tastes good. I mean, you have garum and stuff, but that's really salty by itself. And this is just, my daughter, she loves, I shouldn't say this out loud, but she loves the cup noodles, you know, the one you just put boiling water on. And she always puts a tablespoon of this on top and mixes that in. And she says it makes the whole cup noodle so much better. And this keeps probably, I never had it go bad because it doesn't last that long in our family, but probably keeps for two weeks or so in the fridge. But now we cannot serve this warm, so we need it to cool down. But luckily I already have some in the fridge, so I will use that when we kind of plate up the dish. But this is your nori tsukodani. And now we're ready to plate up the dish. We have our nori tsukodani, we have our honey and balsamic vinegar dressing, olive oil, our ponsu marinated tomato, and our chervil. But before we start plating this, I have a favor to ask. If you stuck with me this far, there must have been something you enjoyed about this episode. So do me the huge favor and see down there, there's a, one of these, hit that thumbs up button. It takes you a second, but it's so valuable to me because it allows me to get my content further out in the YouTube universe. So please hit that thumbs up button. But now let's plate this up. A 
start with some Noro Tsukodani. as a base. And now we take our tomatoes. Let's see how many. I think maybe six is a good one. A good number for us. So, for our olive oil, we don't want too much, just a little bit on top. And the liquid gold. Make sure we're kind of on the tomatoes, so it runs down on them. And last but not least, our chervil. This is just to decorate a bit. You can put some nice salad leaves on top if you want. Whatever you prefer, whatever you think looks pretty. And then we have a dish. Now let's dig in. I got some new chopsticks I have to show you. The camo. Let's get some, some of everything. Mm. This is so good. Salty, umami, but at the same time sweet from the honey. And I think the ponzu makes it also quite a refreshing dish. Now again, it's up to you. You can serve it like this. You can serve with whole tomatoes. You can serve like like whole small cherry tomatoes. I think the the main importance of the dish is obviously the the nori sukodani. Obviously the tomatoes, but it doesn't matter what kind of tomatoes as long as you marinate them long enough. And I think you should peel them. And the honey uh, balsamic vinegar dressing. Um, hmm. It's kind of an itameshi dish, so Italian-Japanese fusion. But this is this is so good. But that's pretty much it for today. But before you leave, if you're not subscribing to the channel yet. Please do so by hitting the subscribe button and ch checking that bell icon. And please leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the episode and the dish. But that's it. Take care until next time. Bye-bye.